आई एम ऑनेस्टली शॉक्ड एंड एब्सोल्युटली हम्बल पहले तो टू सी जेन जी ट्यूनिंग इन लिसनिंग टू माई पॉडकास्ट शाउट आउट टू यू गाइज आई एम एब्सोल्युटली ग्रेटफुल थैंक यू प्री अप्रीशिएट यू गाइज शेयरिंग योर टाइम विथ मी टूडे दिस एपिसोड यू नो वॉज इंस्पायर्ड बाई वॉचिंग वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट यूट्यूब क्रिएटर हेली गैम्बा शी टॉक्स अबाउट एवरीथिंग ब्यूटी वेलनेस कॉन्फिडेंस डेटिंग हाउ टू क्लीन अप स्मेल गुड मोर थिंग्स अराउंड यू नो डेटिंग एंड लिविंग योर बेस्ट लाइफ एज अ वुमन चेक आउट अर यूट्यूब चैनल इफ दैट्स द कॉन्टेंट दैट यू वाइब विथ या आई थिंक यू लाइक हर there are so 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 many well researched article about how good looking people make more money than a average looking person like even in politics it makes a huge difference in the market if you're if the leader you know looks attractive which makes people want to hear them trust them implement the things that they are preaching or trying to preach hey i'm looking at emmanuel macron and uh justin trudeau like research shows that attractive people are widely perceived to be more competent leaders matlab wo ho ya na ho usse koi farak nahi padta hai it's just hamara pehle se i don't know we are tuned in tuned into that ki attractive people are competent leaders period and bahut sara research is pe ho chuka hai you all can like just google it just google it you're you're one step away from it now they are of course genetically gifted and you cannot do anything about that in general you know unless of course you have like a bunch of million dollars lying around and you can just end up with the best surgeons in the world that is aka maybe you'll end up in south korea but hey what you can actually do to make yourself attractive today right now is what my today's episode will be about so i hope you keep listening hi this is aditi and you're listening to kaipan aditi where we talk about anything and everything past present and future and overthink it all new episode comes out every sunday at 11 11 am hello and welcome november just about to start did you blink or did i blink because the year is almost up I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Yeah. Let's let's tackle today's topic head on. Like there are only two simple ways to break this down as how one can become attractive. It's it's a, it's an interesting topic, right? Like I I thought it it would be fun to talk about it. Okay. Number 1 psychologically dimag se aap attract ho sakte ho and number 2 physically aap attract ho sakte ho uh, physically attractive ho sakte ho ban sakte ho you can become mentally and physically more attractive by doing the following things of course i have a list <laughs> i i always add. so i have my bullet points set out that i want to talk about see personally i as a person who've been the cutest person in the room and i never i'm i was not self aware about that fact pehle to i was not self aware and i had to personally work on both of these aspects physical and mental because there were a lot of challenges along the way okay number 1 you cannot sell yourself short like you cannot sell yourself if you do not believe in yourself basically that सी एवरी सिंगल पर्सन ऑन सोशल मीडिया इज अ सेल्स पर्सन अब आप पूछोगे कि कैसे मैं क्या बात कर रही हूँ वेल सब लोग ट्रस्ट मी ऑन दिस वी ऑल आर सेलिंग आर सेल्फ आउट देर एवरी सिंगल डे एट वन पॉइंट और अनादर सी इन्फ्लुएंस ट्राई आउट प्रोडक्ट दे टेल यू कि हाँ ये प्रोडक्ट अच्छा है ये प्रोडक्ट खरीदने लायक है ये खरीद लो नाउ दे माइट गिव यू अ लिंक दे माइट गिव यू अफिलियट लिंक स्वाइप अप वॉट एवर एंड दे आर मेकिंग मनी आउट ऑफ इट इट्स अ होल बिजनेस इवन इफ यू डिसाइड टू वर्क इन अ कॉपरेट फील्ड फर्स्ट यू हैव टू सेल योर सेल्फ टू द एच आर राइट हु यू आर आप कौन हो क्या करते हो हाउ कैन यू ब्रिंग मोर वैल्यू टू द कंपनी यू आर ट्राइंग टू कन्विंस द रिक्रूटर दैट यू आर वर्थ द मनी दैट दे आर इन्वेस्टिंग इन यू आर ट्राइंग टू सेल योर सेल्फ राइट यू आर अ ब्रांड इट ऑल स्टार्ट विद अ बिलीव दैट यू आर गुड इनफ यू आर वर्दी ऑफ इट ऑल इफ यू कैनॉट कन्विंस योर सेल्फ दैट यू आर सेक्सी ए एफ यू आर वर्दी यू आर ट्रैक बोट लोड ऑफ मनी यू आर एक्सेप्शनली लकी आई डोंट 
think even physically upgrading yourself will help like it all starts in the head first inside inside matters more than outside but sadly it's the reverse but both eventually matters in a longer period of time it's what you tell yourself the narrative that you put out there in your head about yourself that fucks it up in a bigger run no matter how sexy you look yeah you have to be a little dululu to make shit happen like a lot of times just be a d- little dululu what's the harm in saying yaar i am exceptionally lucky yaar bahut hi badhiya din ja raha hai like what is wrong in just being thoda delusional and just pretending be a dululu thoda sa thoda sa dululu ho jao na delusional ho jao thoda kya hi farak pad raha hai matlab acha hi bol rahe ho na kuch kharab to ho nahi raha hai aisa bol ke right see it all starts in your brain the narrative you tell yourself is how you portray yourself in the world aap khud कैसे सोच रहे हो खुद के बारे में यार ना मैं तो बहुत अगली हूँ मैं ऐसी हूँ वैसी हूँ वो ही पोर्ट्रे बाहर एक्सटर्नल भी वही पोर्ट्रे होना चालू हो जाएगा यू हैव टू चेंज दैट नैरेट यू हैव टू टेल योर सेल्फ नो आई एम वर्दी आई एम गुड आई एम ओपन आई एम हैप्पी वेदर यू आर ओपन टू more conversations and opportunities all a part of the narrative that you tell yourself you have to tell yourself yeah i'm open to the conversation i'm open to the opportunity i'm so happy today like just put that good energy out there already right yeah number 2 have a life <laughs> live a life be more self involved of course i'm not talking about narcissism but hear me out i want you to figure out a routine a schedule for yourself and fill out your calendar have a life go out buy yourself a coffee write that book find your passion project clean out your house have a routine set for the week and follow it through having a life does not mean you are a narcissist you are simply you know focusing on living your best life which also means you got to do things that bring you joy that makes you excited and happy and fired up to get out the, of that bed and get going with life right having a life a career friends you have to have your passion projects you have to know what you believe in you're not living for others you are living for yourself period that's sexy number 3 be confident be confident in who you are what you do live with purpose confidence is so fucking goddamn sexy and let me assure you confidence is a buildable skill the more you do something and exercise for example the more you do exercising the more confident you get in your body dating ho gaya putting yourself out there networking the more you do that the more confident you'll feel after doing it मतलब अब चलो अगर फेल भी होते हो तो यू हैव टू कीप ट्राइंग एंड कीप ट्राइंग एंड इट्स जस्ट फेलियर ब्रिंग्स अ लॉट ऑफ सक्सेस इट्स जस्ट हाउ मच कैन यू एंड योर एंड योर इज इम्पॉर्टेंट आई गेट इट द फर्स्ट स्टेप्स आर स्केरी बट हैव सम कारज प्रिटेंड टू बी अ बिलियन एयर डोंट बी एन एसोल ऑफकोर्स बट नो दिस एवरी वन इज फीलिंग द सेम फ्यर एज यू आर एंड एन कोई तुम पे फोकस नहीं कर रहा है खुद के फियर पे फोकस कर रहा है सब लोग के कि अरे मैं तो मेरे को डर लग रहा है मेरे को डर लग रहा है लोग क्या सोचेंगे मेरे को डर लग रहा है लाइक लाइक दैट एंड वो लोग भी वही सोच रहे हैं कि मेरे को डर लग रहा है लोग क्या सोचेंगे इमेजिन द ओनली वे टू एलिमिनेट फियर इज टू रिपीट द टास्क अगेन एंड अगेन टू बिल्ड दैट कॉन्फिडेंस राइट द मोर यू डू इट द लेस यूल फ्योर सर्टन टास्क एंड फिर कॉन्फिडेंस वैसे ही बढ़ता है आई वॉज वेरी इनसिक्योर अबाउट माई लेग्स दिस इज अ पर्सनल एग्जाम्पल मेरे पाओ मेरी टांगे आई आई वॉज जेन्यूनली वेरी इनसिक्योर अबाउट इट आई स्टार्टेड वॉकिंग दैट्स इट लाइक आई पुट इट अ पॉइंट आई एम गोन वॉक टेन के आई स्टार्टेड विथ थ्री फोर के आई बिल्ड इट अप टू सिक्स फिर एट फिर टेन आई हिट टेन के स्टेप्स एंड देन आई टोल्ड माई सेल्फ नो बडी द फक केयर्स वॉट माई लेग्स लुक लाइक और एटलीस्ट दे वॉन्ट आई मीन नो बडी हैज दसिटी टू कम अप टू मी एंड से हे अदित यू गॉट अगली लेग्स एंड इफ दे डू वॉक अप टू मी आई एल जस्ट सिंपली वॉक अवे बिकॉज हनी वी ऑल बिन वर्किंग आउट दोज लेग्स एंड I know, like I literally, you know, you cannot shake my confidence with those nasty words. I've been working out, like I'm that badass bitch. 
nothing can shake me up now like i know my internally i know what my truth is so no matter how much somebody else comes and tells me this false narrative about me it's not going to affect me because i've been working out that hard on my legs that's it period that's confidence yeah you know your worth you've built up that humble confidence and you really don't need to justify to anybody ki you know so and so you know confidence is so fucking goddamn attractive sometimes it it's not really how you look it's simply knowing your purpose who you are and walking with confidence that shit so hot and super magnetic let me just assure you that and even if you don't have it just be a little dululu just walk with purpose walk with confidence and if you don't know figure out what you like what you don't like what your purpose is in this lifetime just sit down with yourself and talk it through right all right number 4 you may agree to this you may not agree to this and that's completely fine there's also another podcast that i want to plug in but after this so number 4 is drop that masculine energy now this has been a very difficult journey for me personally and i think a lot of people with single parent might relate to this that you know eventually the kids sort of become very controlling bit grumpy protective guarded uh protecting yourself from this big bad world jabki parent ka kaam hai karna we want things done a certain way and that's that माई वे मेरे तरफ मेरे मेरे हिसाब से होना चाहिए नहीं तो टाटा बाय बाय माई वे और हाई वे राद दिन सिटिंग इन आर यू नो फेमिन एनर्जी ऑफ यू नो लेटिंग थिंग्स कम स्टॉप कंट्रोलिंग सो मच ऑफ द नेरेटिव लेट थिंग्स कम हैव अ बिलीफ कि जो भी आ रहा है वो अच्छा ही है बिकॉज मैं इतनी लकी हूँ कि सब अच्छा ही हो रहेगा मेरे साथ इफ इट डजेंट वाइब you have to just let it go if it matlab you have to be open enough receptive enough receiving of everything enough to make a judgment ki whether you like it or not like it and if you don't you just let it go but being more open and receiving things is very important very important i think this is something where i probably struggle with this is like the hardest lesson i had to acknowledge, acknowledge that this is who i am i'm trying to dig into why i have i have been running on masculine energy for so long was it the family dynamic was it living in india or was it even living abroad that has fucked me up for good like was it because i am an empath and i feel too much when a fellow female in the society goes through something i don't know like there there is a lot of narrative around this masculine energy that i'm still trying to dig deeper into but i do have control issues like i want things planned out a certain way there's no room for spontaneity like i want the next five steps to be planned out but i have to tell myself you've not seen the future aditi especially after the pandemic like i have to keep reminding myself kal kisne dekha hai nobody seen tomorrow so you got to live in the present you got to live right now right wo past past or future mein itna plan plotting ho chuka hai soch soch ke पास का सोच के फ्यूचर का प्लान करना बट प्रेजेंट में रहना ही नहीं हो रहा है लाइक आई आई कीप प्लॉटिंग द फ्यूचर बेस्ड ऑन माय पास एंड देन आई फॉरगेट टू एक्चुअली लिव इन द प्रेजेंट दैट्स द वर्स्ट काइंड सो ड्रॉप दैट मैस्किलन एनर्जी आई एम ट्राइंग टू मोर अंडरस्टैंड दिस नैरेटिव ऑफ मैस्किलन एंड फेमिन एनर्जी एंड इट्स अ लॉन्ग जर्नी फॉर मी सो या नंबर फाइव इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस ऊह I don't know I don't know how to even start with this okay internet of course I end up on the internet internet defines ei emotional intelligence as the ability to manage both your own emotions and understand the emotions of people around you so there are five key elements to emotional intelligence self awareness aap kaun ho kya ho सेल्फ रेगुलेशन आप रेगुलेट करते हो मॉडरेशन में सब कुछ हो रहा है डिसिप्लिन हो मोटिवेशन क्या मोटिवेट करता है आपको एम्पति आप लोगों के लिए दया बेसिकली लोगों और लोगों के लिए एंड सोशल स्किल्स वार्तालाप कैसे होता है लोगों के साथ एंड लाइक जस्ट इन जनरल सोशल स्किल्स 
This may look like having patience, showing your gratitude to your partner, understanding their wants and needs, gaining skills and acquiring enough knowledge to have hard conversations, understanding your own pain points and your partner's pain points and sensitivity of these issues in relationship like just understand ki how sensitive these these issues might be for you or for the samne wala person and you know just having an open mind about all of it that's that's just ei emotional intelligence if you know yourself enough and you're working on healing yourself that my friend is so fucking attractive you are honestly working on yourself having this emotional intelligence that you have issues and that the healing is the only way out of it is the highest level of self awareness i believe it's a lot emotional intelligence is hot af like aapko logo ka dil rakhna aata hai that's how i say it in hindi aapko dil rakhna aap dil rakhna jante ho logo ka if you get it you get it if you don't that's that <laughs> number 6 of course this is absolutely i think i don't know optional some people learn it by reading some people don't whatever your choice of मोड ऑफ लर्निंग इज सम पीपल आर वेरी विजुअल सो आप उन्हें एक या दो इमेज बता दो दिल जस्ट रिमेंबर सम पीपल आर वेरी एक्सपेरिमेंटल सो यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सपेरिमेंट यू वॉन्ट टू सी हाउ इट एक्चुअली वर्क हाउ दैट्स हाउ यू रिमेंबर और वी कॉल दैट्स डिफरेंट थिंग बट ओके नंबर सिक्स रीडिंग रीडिंग विल इंस्टेंटली मेक यू हॉटो I honestly don't know how to sell you as I said I don't know how to sell you on reading. If you don't like it, then you don't. I understand. But let me put it this way, okay? Richest people in the world read. They read everything: fiction, non-fiction, fantasy. I'm talking about Bill Gates and Warren Buffett. <laughs> the reason I read is because it takes me across the world, across the globe, exposes me to you know new ideas, concepts, how people think and execute, what is their culture like, and so on and so forth. You read somebody's. लाइफ का वर्क इन टू हंड्रेड पेज ऑफ बुक सम्बडी अ थर्टी ईयर ओल्ड वेल एक्सपीरियंस पर्सन फाइनली पेंस डाउन ऑल ऑफ हिज एक्सपीरियंसिस एंड हिज लर्निंग इन दिस लाइफ टाइम वेन ही इज एट सिक्सटी और सेवेंटी एंड यू आर टेलिंग मी यू डो नॉट इवन वॉन्ट टू नो और लर्न अबाउट इट दैट्स रिडिक्यूलस स्पेशली इफ इट्स कमिंग फ्रॉम सम्बडी हु इज ऑलरेडी इन योर फील्ड एंड मेड इट बिग राइट you want to hear what he has to say and if there's book out there i would want to buy it almanacs of novel ravi kant is one of the books that i highly recommend to everybody to check it out just check it out <laughs> and then of course the vocabulary that is built over time yes you know reading makes you instantly hot period <laughs> there is a legit instagram page called hot dudes reading where people submit photos of men reading books and they have like 1.2 million followers that's crazy yes i'm telling you pick up a book any book that interest you even if it's a 20 page book just read it what's the harm start with maybe a comic or a manga so that way you don't have to like maybe it's not heavy text based it's heavy image based maybe that's where you start i don't know but reading is fun yaar reading is fun i think you're missing out on a whole different world uh, or a community of people and there are so many community pages on facebook you like people are like amazing the book community is amazing incredible all right let's talk about now the physical aspect of it oh yeah number 1 ye optional nahi hai ye mandatory hai every man woman whatever however you identify yourself as grooming it is absolutely essential for you to know that well groomed people stand out grooming is very essential core part of the routine for me that no one whatever i mean i understand whatever your gender is or however you choose to identify you know grooming goes beyond your gender identity just basic grooming that means scrubbing polishing buffing cleaning your entire body taking regular shower every day twice a day whatever you whatever feels good to you getting clean ups getting facials done that also means reaching out to your dermatologist asking for your concerns and sorting them out uh smelling good shaving that beard lining it up getting waxed 
I love, you know, I love a healthy, glowing skin. And it's just, you know, it just talks about your vitality, I could say. This, you know, this grooming is absolutely bare minimum, guys. Pres- presentation is everything. First impression lasts very long, let me tell you that. People will remember you whether you smell good or whether you smell bad. Good first impression is important. People naturally gravitate toward people who dress well, smell good, her hair and nails are done. Just overall how you present yourself matters. It will help you in your career, dating, approaching and making new friends, networking. It's just every... Just I think when you look clean when you actually clean i think somewhere it also affects your level of confidence your confidence you become more confident in the way you look so just grooming is essential very important part in overall physical glow up as well number two your teeth i don't know okay (laughs) now believe it or not people look at your mouth when you talk either your mouth or your forehead and it's absolutely essential to clean that up. For for this specific point, I, I find it attractive that a person has clean, straight teeth. Just, I'm just putting it out there. I, it's, <laughs> I don't know. It's I won't call it a kink, but just, I think I find men hot when they have a good set of teeth. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it sounds shallow. People find people with straight, beautiful teeth attractive. I even heard Kim Kardashian say this out loud. And I was like, okay, maybe I'm not the only one. I like people with good, healthy, glowing set of teeth. (laughs) I, I personally am genetically gifted, touch wood, with beautiful set of straight, aligned teeth. But my brother was not so much. Um, Yeah. I, I mean, I don't come from only single parent. Like <laughs> they need, There are two sets of people who've come together to make me. <laughs> so, of course, I had good set of teeth. Um, so did my sister. I think it was my brother who messed it up around this department. And so, so he finally got his te- treatment started and his teeth aligned. Uh, as soon as he started earning, the first thing he fixed was his teeth teeth he knew the importance of smile and he got the braces and i'm like i'm proud that he cares and he loves himself enough to understand that looking good is important period as shallow it may as it may sound but it's part of self-care Mujhe aise lagta hai. and he has like a lot of wonky teeth and a double teeth and just is just having a good oral hygiene is very very important and we live we live in this world people judge outer beauty more than inner beauty do not cross me on that do not cross me on that i'm giving you the harsh truth i'm here for that and let's be real for a minute here when you have a crush on someone a lot of times it's solely because uh, you looked at this person and you found her him cute like it's it's based on the looks First, the eyes meets and then maybe the talking happens and the personality comes out. But it's it's first the eyes. Having beautiful set of teeth is essential again. <laughs> Orthodontic wala jo business hai, dentistry ka business is a billion dollar industry. That's why most of my friends, you know, probably come back to India to get their teeth fixed. <laughs> Anyways, number three, fitness. Now. Being and looking fit affects every aspect of your life. Let's be real here for a second. Whether you are a guy or a girl, we want a good looking fit partner. It's absolutely essential that you take care of your body internally. I don't think any of us wants to be fat and want a fat partner. I'm going to be brutally honest here. And it's just, I think... I've come to a point where it's just about respecting yourself and your body and you wanting to live longer. Okay, obesity hai. If you if you know that is your pain point, you will get up, you will work out. Yes, I'm not even talking about extreme case scenarios. That's a whole different situation in itself. But 
I have been fat all my life. Let me just put this out there. When I say the word fat, I've been fat all my life, all my fucking life. So working out, let's let's talk about it. Yeah, right. Working out is a mood booster. You are more positive. You have the will to take on the world. That means you're more open to receiving opportunities. And when you're more open to it, that means you have a higher probability of getting lucky because you are so open to receiving and going with the flow and vibing at a very high energy. You know, the most attractive and high earning individuals are physically fit. That I said it. They do. They understand that by fitness is important. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not talking about Warren Buffett or Bill Gates. Like they're like really, really old. They've made it happen, and even if they die tomorrow, they are good. They are set. They are okay with money part of it. They've seen the world. They've seen their life. They build businesses, and that's that. They're done. Like they're just. having the time of their life with whatever they have right now going on i'm talking about if you want to live further like you have i have another 40 or 50 years in this body so why not take good care of my body right i'm talking about that because somewhere you know we all know ki yaar there needs to be a lot of energy and stamina to pick up more projects that these high earning individuals already know and to even think clearly and more efficiently it is said to work out pretty much you need to have the stamina to pick up more projects to bring that extra income over a longer period of time you need that physical fitness and ye to even actresses and celebrities ka bhi in unka job itna um, ye hota hai ki abhi 2 ghanta soye hai abhi do call aaya hai ki bhai chal delhi jana hai promotion ke liye and they they pack their bags and they leave and that's that like that's how the life is you might have to get up at 12 am or midnight somewhere around and get going and you have to be fit enough to get going right it's just the part of the job they chose that life you have to be physically fit to you know even earn more pretty much i've learned this the hard way being fit is the highest form of self respect being the fat fat kid that i've always been and you know i've been disrespecting this body my body i'm ashamed of it like i'm ashamed i did this to myself it's only when i had so many so many health issues that i knew i had to make a change believe me when i say this my heels heels the heel part of it ad bolenge ya um paav ki jo paav ke jo touch hai heels they hurt so bad that at one point i was at my lowest i walked five steps and my heels hurt so bad because my i weighed over 180 pound so i weighed around 82 or 85 kilo and my legs could not take that much weight and i could not walk more than five steps without having shooting pain in my legs shooting pain i had to i had to stop in the middle of the street i had to rotate my ankle get going then stop again get going stop again how fucking embarrassing I, that was the lowest point for me and i was again i was not here during that phase of my life uh, i'm not i i promised myself like never again am i going back to that state of mind state of body you know i have to make a change or i'll end up falling supremely depressed and there have been days where i do not want to absolutely go out and then jab jana padta tha to i used to get so anxious about even stepping out of the house about my body about everything i had so so many health related issues back pain neck pain vertigo my head would start spin spinning around then the anxiety would set in and just it's on and on and on and on it just just hurts yeah fitness helps even with mental clarity it helps with dopamine it makes you feel good and i did not know all of this and so i you know i promised myself you know i i want to be hot i've been cute all my life i want to be hot and i'm so i'm currently working on my fitness journey and i think a lot of people can actually make out 
in my recent reels on instagram that i look a little bit more leaner and fitter and you know yeah i mean i've been working out i've been on this healing journey so hopefully things will shift for me yeah i'm going to stop right here babies this is aditi and you're listening to kaipan aditi i'll see you next sunday bye